Out of everything that the media could and should be reporting on in our complex and increasingly chaotic society, the lead story in all of the liberal media yesterday was them claiming that Republicans are spreading deceptively edited videos of old Joe from his big celebrity fundraiser over the weekend, which showed that, again, he got lost on stage, and this time Obama came to the rescue and had to literally take him by the hand and lead him away. And what are you going to believe, your lying eyes, or what CNN and MSNBC tell you Joe Biden's doing? There's a growing and insidious trend in right-wing media, broadcast, print, and social media. It is to take highly misleading and selectively edited wow. videos of President Biden directly from Republican National Committee social media accounts and then use those videos to spread messages virally to cast doubt on President Biden's fitness for office. Uh, Here is this headline from the New York Post, quote, Biden appears to freeze up, has to be led off stage by Obama. Actually, I'm going to have to disagree with the New York Post headline because there's no need for the word appears in there. Biden froze up, got lost, had to be rescued and led by the hand off stage by Obama. And as always, they are guilty of the very thing that they accuse Republicans of doing. They are spreading a deceptively edited video. This is their version, trying to show that everything's just fine. And it shows Biden freezing there and then cuts to the wide shot. And this is where Obama grabs him by the hand and then starts leading him off stage. And then, oh, there we go. Okay, cuts back to the close-up. So they're saying that, this is just totally normal. Joe Biden is as sharp as a tack. Call us for a special caring touch. Oh. Visiting angels care so much. <laughs> Visiting angels. America's oh. choice in home care. Oh. I think what the White House and, and Biden campaign, what they have an issue with is that these outlets are wrapping these videos in very misleading context, right? Saying that this is evidence that Biden was freezing. He's unable to walk off stage on his own. And that's obviously not the case, uh, but that's how it's being portrayed in right-wing media. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here because you're not gonna find independent analysis like this anywhere else. I'll spare you from having to watch the CNN clips because the Mockingbirds are all repeating the same talking points. And one of them set Corrine Jean-Pierre up to try to defend the situation. Listen to this. Uh, secondly, there, there seems to be a, a sort of rash of videos that have been edited to make the president appear especially frail or mentally confused. Um, I, I'm wondering if the, the White House is especially worried about the fact that this, this appears to be a, a, a pattern that we're seeing more from. Yeah. Yeah, not concerned about him actually being frail and confused. Concerned about these deceptively edited videos, which they are now calling cheap fakes. Yeah, we and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith. Uh, and, uh, and some of your news organization uh, have... Uh, Look at how concerned she is, showing an actual clip of a close-up not the wide shot, that's done in bad faith. Have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the right wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation. <laughs> uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from, from your, your part of the world, calling them cheap fakes and misinformation. Because of this nonsense, someone at the Daily Meme team who goes by Defonzer, I think is how you pronounce his name. I apologize if I got that wrong. Daily Meme team. <laughs> it's fantastic. Came up with this gem. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Okay, so you did not see Biden wandering around aimlessly, freezing up, himself, uh, sniffing dignitaries, falling asleep. What you actually saw were cheap fakes. Uh, it's like a deep uh, fake, but it's just the real uh, video uh, that we don't want people to see. Here's another one. Are the deep fakes in the room with us? And this is the man who they're saying has his full mental faculties and is only being cast in a false light by deceptively edited videos facing questions from the press. He literally just mumbled a bunch of nonsense and then laughed instead of actually answering questions for the American people. Yeah. And I don't need to show this five-minute compilation that the RNC put together of old Joe 
anyway. losing his train of thought, mumbling, and I don't getting wanna, lost, I don't because we've all seen way too much of this already. This compilation, however, is worth watching. Start your tape right now, because I'm about to tell you the truth. Hmm. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Biden is the best Biden ever. She no lost. She knew so long as she was denied. In fact, I think he's better than he's ever been. President Biden has a photographic memory. His understanding and mastery of a complicated geopolitical situation, remarkable. <laughs> he is sharp, intensely probing, and detail-oriented and focused. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. I was sitting, you know, of two feet from him across the table, and he was, you know, intense. Have trouble walking sometimes? Yeah, so did FDR. He wanted GD war. But he's totally focused. He's very sharp. They say he's sharp in meetings and so on. Very lucid, well, very well informed. Biden is stately and he comes with gravitas. There hasn't been, as far as I know, a single claim that Biden made a mistake. Ageism is an issue. Americans have a rich history of holding people's physical characteristics against them. Okay, you can ask African-Americans. He's older. That doesn't mean that he is unfit, and there's a lot of ageism there. Now, this age attack, this obsession by the right. Joe Biden may not be able to speak for himself the way that he used to. They want to think to, is to take on government if we get out of line, which they're talking again about. And him, how he, that's him, him lying around. Okay, this is getting a little too depressing. Let's check out some of those Chuck Schumer grilling burgers memes, shall we? In case you missed this story and you've been living under a rock, go check yesterday's video. The meme makers had a great time with this. A lot of people showed uh, how Chuck Schumer cooks cheeseburgers like this and this. And brace yourself because you can't unsee this next one. Okay, that that is Nancy Pelosi's top, by the way, in case you missed the previous cycles of memes of her at the beach. Uh, and there's this one after Kamala Harris saw that there were some uh, wieners on the grill. Here's another good one. Hello, fellow cheeseburger eating humans, which is a riff off the famous Steve Buscemi. How do you do, fellow kids meme? Absolutely fantastic. And you know what else I think is fantastic? I may be a little biased because it is my shirt after all. It's my new An Appeal to Heaven shirt, which is available at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. And by the way, my designs are now available in tank tops. I think most of them. So just click on whatever design on the main page and then down at the bottom, you'll see options for tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out. <laughs> <laughs>